against the full title belt. Well, covering a tennis ball. Now we cut our sheep twice a year and scrub them to help eliminate the dag. They sometimes get when we get the fresh green feed, help the paddocks. Also helps eliminate the fly strike. They get the hot humid weather down here in the southeast. Now right up this back leg, you can actually see how white that wool is. Some of the finest wool grown anywhere in the world. Comes off these merinos, blow over the tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trevor. We'll be right to you later. There we are. Now this is the hardest part to do on these sheep. Shearing is a trade. The contractor sends you learn to shear it. The way to a shearing school. Don't be afraid for this on the family pet at home. The kids. Leave it to the professional. Now there's a uh, train that comes out of this wall with a head away from the wash. It's called Madeline. Now Madeline is used for cosmetics, moisturizers. It's good for rejuvenating the skin. I do this every morning for two minutes. And I've been doing that for 65 years. Now the fastest sheep ever endured goes to a team win on the name of Dave Fagan. Be sure a sheep in 14 seconds. Record for the most sheep shorn of the day goes to D.I.T. Another uh, New Zealander. He shot 866 crossbred lambs in a nine hour working day. Now, do you want to hear the Australian records? None of mine, I only share two sheep a day this year. One at 11 15, one at 2 45. The Australian records go to uh, Jackie Howe. He was born at Warwick, two hours west of the Gold Coast. He shot 321 of these Merino ewes in 7 hours 20 minutes. Now that was an amazing feat on its own. But back when he done that record in the 1900s, oh. there wasn't any power. So he had to use this. Now I'm also a professional barber if anyone wants a haircut. Just tap on the gate out the back and I'll fix you up after the show. Now the blades are still used in stud farms and uh, South Australia, South Island and New Zealand, England, Ireland and Scotland, those countries with the colder climates, that when the sheep have been shorn and they go back out into the colder climates, they won't freeze to death in case they get one of those late uh, snow showers. You can see there there's quite a covering. No. All right. Oh, yeah, young uh, rouser out. You can put that whip down, mate. Hand right to come up here and help me finish this one off. Down there. Right hand on there. Right hand here. We'll just lock in a few fingers so we don't cut them off, eh? Left hand on me back. You right? There we go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. You have been practicing on the family pet, have you? Have a look out for a photo, mate. There we go. Absolutely. Huh? Have a seat. Give him a round of applause, folks. <laughs> Rover, you're next. That singing must have been all right, mate. They're still all here. Yeah, I'll right there. Right, right there, I'll be back. Yeah, leave me wallet. Here we go. You haven't had this go and sharing yet either. No, I can tell. All right, we'll look up for a photo. Up there in the center. That's the one. Have a seat, mate. Round of applause. <laughs> 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 right here, Those hands are mighty soft, folks. She's been using Lemelin. <laughs> this hand on me back. On my back. Yeah. I'll show you. <laughs> 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 
this sheep up, off and put her back with her mates. Back in 1970, Australia had 170 million sheep. We've only got 68 million left now. And New Zealand is down to 28 million sheep. The country with the most sheep running around is actually China, with 140 million sheep. There we are, folks. Now we share them here at the I'll just put her back, be right back with you.